What's up YouTube, it's Robo. I'm back with a new jailbreak video. This is for iOS 8.3. This was just released a couple days ago and they finally got it updated to a more working version so it's not so complicated. The first thing I would suggest is to restore your phone to a brand new iOS 8.3 firmware. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. You just plug it in and hit restore. Uh, make sure you back it up to iCloud or iTunes though so you have all your apps and have all your settings saved. Uh, and then you can restore from that once you're done. But once you get this completely restored 8.3 brand new uh, come back and watch and continue watching this so once I get this finished I'll skip ahead and we'll continue from there okay so you need two things to download really uh, the Taiji jailbreak which you can find on their website and also uh, a lot of tutorials have been saying you need to downgrade to your iTunes you need to downgrade to an older version of iTunes uh, you can do that, but you, you don't need to. You also you just need to download this one file right here. If you were on 12.1.2, uh, which is the newest version for Windows, uh, you just need to download this one file, and it basically lets you, it, it just fix all the driver issues that people were having before. It lets you uh, run the Taiji jailbreak on the newest version of iTunes, and you don't have to downgrade at all. So download this. Uh, you run it just like you normally would for iTunes. You install it right on top of your current version of iTunes, whether you're on the older version of like 12.1 or if you're on the newer version 12.1.2 uh, then you can just run this straight on top it will fix all the driver issues and you'll be able to run the jailbreak so once you get this downloaded and the taiji jailbreak downloaded uh you, you you actually don't need this right here but you need these right here uh you can right right click and hit extract here and get the dot exe and you need to have the itunes uh, update as well. All this does is it's going to let you use the same jailbreak on the most recent version of iTunes. So you don't have to downgrade or anything like that. So do this first, make sure you have everything ready. And then when you run the jailbreak, it should say uh, ready to go. It shouldn't give you any driver issues, any Apple issues, anything like that. And I'll show you that I am on. So there you go. It runs right through. I'll show you that I am on the newest version of iTunes as well. Right there, 12.1.2.27. This was just released. I'll even check for new updates. Show you that this is the current version of iTunes and it is June 26th right now. So that's how you get it to work on the newest version of iTunes. Do not downgrade. Don't listen to anybody else. Just download that file and get that to update and you will be able to use it on the newest version. So let's continue now. Okay, so once you get to this screen, once you're completely done restoring, I would say set up as a new phone. You can always go back and restore it from iCloud or iTunes later. So I'm just gonna say set up as a new phone for now. Make sure that the whole jailbreak goes through fine and then I'm gonna put all my stuff back on. Uh, it's probably the easiest way. It gets rid of all the extra files that you didn't need before as well. So really if you could, just re-download all your stuff and set up all your settings again. It probably takes an hour or two, uh, but it's probably worth it to make sure everything works smoothly. But if you really want to, you can restore from your backups and everything should work perfectly fine as well. So let me finish this up. Let this get into the main screen. I gotta set this up real quick and I'll be right back. And you have it restored to iOS 8.3, then you can run the jailbreak. So you open up the Taiji jailbreak, it's just a .exe, this only works on Windows right now. If you have a Mac, you can run it in VMware or uh, uh, Parallels, I think it's called. Uh, just some different uh, program that you can use to run a Windows application. But right now it needs to say, it says I need to turn off, uh, find my iPhone, so I'm just going to go into General, or sorry, iCloud. Find my iPhone and switch that off really quick. All right, so before you begin at all, you want to turn off Find My iPhone and turn off your passcode. Make sure there's nothing that's stopping your phone from turning on and sliding to unlock or anything like that. Make sure that both of those are turned off or you will run into issues. So there we go. Now you get to this screen. If you don't get to this screen, if you say if it says that there's a driver issue or something like that, uh, make sure you go back and uninstall all the app all the Apple applications and reinstall iTunes. It will that should install all the all the drivers that you need for it, including the one that you need for your phone. Uh, so make sure you you uninstall everything from Apple and then install just iTunes and it'll it'll reinstall everything that you need. So once you get to this screen. I would uncheck 3K Assistant. You don't need it. It's just the things that they add to it that they get paid for. That's the way that they make money. So uncheck that. You don't need it. All you need is Cydia, and then you hit Start. And once you hit Start, you just let it sit, and it should finish without any issues now. They said that they fixed the 20% and the 40% uh, bugs that, were, that people were having. So if you run into any issues like that, I would just try restarting your computer, re-downloading everything, and making sure everything is correct before you start because they shouldn't run into any issues if you did it correctly. 
So I'm just going to sit back and let this finish, and I'll come back right when this is done. All right, there we go. Looks like it succeeded. It went through completely fine. If you run into any issues, the, the two things I had to do was turn off Find My iPhone and turn off the passcode and make sure I'm on a fresh install of iOS 8.3. Uh, once you get this done, you can go into Cydia, and it'll probably do reinitializing stuff, close out, and then you can open it back up, and you should be good to go after that. Make sure you have the 3K Assistant stuff off. If you accidentally installed it, that's fine. You can go into Cydia and uninstall all the crap that they added to it. Uh, it's just extra stuff that you don't really need. Let's see. So I'm going to slide this, go over. So right there, as you can see, there is Cydia installed right there. Let me show you. I am, I am on iOS 8.3 really quick. So you can see right there under version iOS 8.3 okay so that's pretty much it now uh, now the reason I did this I waited for it to do it now was because uh, City has a substrate which was not updated which means you couldn't really install any tweaks and have anything work it was just you can install it and then nothing would really happen or it would crash or something would something bad would happen it, w it wouldn't work properly so now that they finally updated uh, City of Strep substrate everything should be working fine now uh, if, if some tweaks aren't updated for 8.3 just wait because I'm sure that they will if they uh, have active developers and they, I'm sure that they're going to be updating it to 8.3 since this jailbreak just came out everybody was on 8.1.3 so that's what the developers were on before so maybe they've updated by now a lot of tweaks have been updated but just be patient if uh, things aren't working just yet it takes a little while to get things rolling once a new update or once a new jailbreak comes out so this is what you'll see once you first open up Cydia preparing file system don't worry uh, it's just going to finish doing that it might take a little while depending on your internet speed uh, and then it'll close out and you can open it back up and install all the tweaks uh, right after that I will have uh, more update videos on the jailbreak once 8.4 comes out to see if there's any updates on that uh, as well as just different tweaks that you can install to make your phone run smoother and run better uh, just the cool things that you can do to it on the new 8.3 jailbreak so let me know how this works for you guys if you have any issues let me know in the comments down below and i'll try to help you out uh, I, i'm here throughout the day so you can send me a message on robo iMessage at gmail.com as well and i should be able to reply to that right away so if you have any issues let me know i have, I have a lot of ways to contact me uh, follow me on twitter follow me on facebook as well so i can show you guys all the updates once they come out uh, right away. So thank you guys very much. It's been hectic the past couple months. I finally graduated. I moved down uh, to North Carolina and now I have a brand new job as well. So I'm doing a ton of different things uh, all at once. So it's, it's a little hectic right now. But thanks for sticking with me and thanks for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks guys.